Hello, it is Tegan with Upcycling Adventures, and in this video I am going to show you how to make a t-shirt tote, a lined t-shirt tote. Um, this is something that has been floating around the internet for quite a while, and even not the internet for a long time, um, and I never really got it because I'm like, a t-shirt is not great material to make a sturdy bag. It's stretchy. If you're using an old t-shirt, it can be worn out. Like, this does not make sense to me. Um, so, but adding two t-shirts and, and lining it with another t-shirt um, in kind of a raw style makes it a lot sturdier. And it does give a great way to use up some of these t-shirts that just, it's like they multiply. Um, so, what you are going to need to do this project, uh, you are going to need two t-shirts that are approximately the same size. So two large t-shirts, two extra large t-shirts. Uh, I, Yeah, just depends on what size of bag you want. Um, you are going to need scissors that can cut fabric. Uh, you are also going to need a sewing machine for this project. I know some of you may not like that, but sewing machines are great for a lot of things. Um, it, it doesn't have to be hard. And one thing that will make it not hard is the next thing you're going to need, which is a needle to sew knit fabric. T-shirts are knit, they don't fray, it's great, but you need a special needle to sew with knit fabrics or you will hate your sewing machine. And you'll think that it's doing crazy things when really it's just asking for the proper needle. Um, so get a knit or a ballpoint needle for your sewing machine. Uh, you will need thread for your sewing machine. You will need to use pins or I really recommend using pins. I'm, I'm an advocate for that. Um, and those are pretty much all the things you're gonna need to tackle this project. It's not challenging. Don't be afraid just because it involves sewing. Please, don't be afraid. You can do this. So, and and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So here we go. Okay, so I have my two t-shirts and the first thing I'm going to do is cut them down um, cut off their sleeves and cut off a circle around their necks. So I'm going to just take one to start with. I'll show you this way. You can do them both at the same time, but I thought to make it easier, I'll just show you one at a time. So I'm going to just trim right here with my scissors. This is an extra large t-shirt, so I'm trying to catch it up all in the frame here. One arm cut off, kind of making sure it's all flat. Cut this other arm off. So that arm is cut off. No arms on this t shirt anymore. And now I'm going to cut a circle or a half circle, I should say, um, through here. Flip it around, actually. This. Once again, making sure that it's nice and flat where I'm cutting. You can get a plate to help you approximate this, or you can just eyeball it. It is up to you. I kind of, so obviously that's not a perfect um, half circle, but I just kind of approximate based on where this collar is. So. So now I have one cut. I'm going to show you what to do to cut the next one. You could always cut them actually at the same time, but that can be kind of tricky. So I have this one laid out. Just a second, let me try and zoom it out a little bit for you. No, that's the wrong way. Okay. So I have this one laid out. And I'm gonna lay out the black one over it. This one is a little bit bigger, but that will be okay. We can 
make that work. So the main thing I'm on a lineup is the seam that's in the shoulder of the shirt. I'll make sure that's lined up real nice. Okay, so now that, and I have pretty good contrast here, so you can see, I'm just gonna, you can take a pen and just trace it if you want, or you can just um, take the scissors and go at it and just try and keep it lined up. They're both nice and flat. Um, I'll go ahead and do the pen. One thing that's nice about this too is it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, just a t-shirt bag, right? This isn't, doesn't have to be that polished. Um, yeah. All right, so now I will just, you can see the pen marks. Uh, it's not as clear on the camera, but I can see it enough to trim it. So I will do that. Um, you can cut them at the exact same time, as I mentioned before, but you're going to want to make sure you have a really good pair of fabric scissors, um, which you may not have, so I wanted to show you this method as well. Also, you can use your rotary cutter that makes this job even faster, um, but yeah. So now I'm going to cut this one down. So, I have both of my t-shirts cut down. The next part, I'm going to go over to the sewing machine. So, I'm going to show you that. Well, actually, no. First, the next part, we are going to go over the sewing machine, but before we do that, we're going to pin and get it ready. So, we're going to turn our shirts inside out. And you, I have the bottom hem here, and I'm just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew along this hem, right along here, all the way across the bottom, which will be the bottom of the bag, um, and, and I'm going to pin it first just to keep everything lined up, because knit especially likes to be wonky. This was woven, I might try and without, but try to do it without. So I have some pins in that one, and I'm gonna do the same on my pink shirt here. Take care to kind of get um, the arms and everything lined up before you sew the bottom so that you know it will all come together in the end. Okay. So now we will go over to the sewing machine and once again we're just going to sew a seam across the bottom of our bags. Alright, so before you start sewing you need to get your machine set to the right stitch. Um, for a knit, because it stretches, you don't want your uh, seam to rip out. Um, be pulled out because the fabric stretched and the seam didn't. So you want to use an, uh, a stitch that's appropriate to use with a knit, with a stretchy fabric. So uh, on my machine it's number six. It looks like a little lightning bolt. That is a knit stitch. Or you can also just use a zigzag stitch that will give you the give you need to um, sew with knit fabrics. It just makes a wider stitch. All right, and then also before you get started, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have your needle that's appropriate for sewing with knit fabrics on there. Um, if you don't, you will run into all sorts of problems. You'll be like, it won't seem to be involved with the needle, but really it will be about the needle. Um, it's important to use a ballpoint or a knit uh, stitch needle when you are sewing with knits. Okay, go. Okay, all right, I have it on my uh, lightning bolt stitch or the knit stitch and now I'm just going to sew right across the bottom of this and I'm going to make sure to reverse in the beginning.
Always remember to not push or pull your fabric. Just help guide it through. Let the machine feed the fabric through. So there you go, and now I'm going to go ahead and do that on my other shirt. Okay, you can see where I stitch is this darker green thread. Um, and as far as like how much you want to leave right here, um, it's kind of up to you. I just chose to sew where there wouldn't be as much bulk, where the hem is. Um, but I am going to trim away some of that bulk, mainly at the edges, um, which will help the corners of my bag come out a little bit better. You could trim even more bulk if you wanted to. So just kind of trimmed a sliver off and you'll see when I turn it inside out There is the corner of my bag, and if I wouldn't have trimmed that, I wouldn't, sorry, I wouldn't be able to make it such a nice point there. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to put my bags together, wrong side. Um, I'm going to put my black bag on in the inside of my pink bag with the wrong sides touching. And I'm going to stick it right in here. So the seam across the bottom will be lined up. You can see this is a handle. I'm going to line up the handles essentially where the shoulder seam is. I'm going to line that up. up there so you can see across the top you can see the inside of the bag what's going to be the outside of the bag um, and across the bottom those are lined up those seams so the first thing we're going to stitch um, these holes where these where we trimmed off the sleeves and the neck hole, we're going to stitch the two shirts together there. And we're not going to do any fancy hem. We're not going to try and hide anything here. Like we're just dealing with old t-shirts, right? So all we're going to do, I'm going to pin it together and then I'm going to zigzag stitch around it. Um, and you're going to see the raw edges on the, of the t-shirt. So I'll show you that. Having, making sure those shoulder seams are lined up will help keep everything from getting too wonky. And it's okay if they don't line up perfectly. Um, as long as when you're stitching you catch both t-shirts, that's really the main concern. Um, you can either go back and trim it so they look more even after you've stitched or you can just leave it because these are t-shirts, right? Like this is not a big deal. So, all right, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch it starting in the armpit essentially of the t-shirt and I'm going to stitch all the way around. I'm going to make sure to have um, the free arm out and I'll see you guys over at my sewing machine. Okay, I'm back over at my sewing machine and now I'm just gonna zigzag stitch around um, this arm opening, sewing both of the t-shirts together. You can see I have my free arm out. I don't have that here so I can easily go around this part of my sewing machine. So I'm just gonna slip it in. I'm starting at the armpit like I had mentioned previously. I have it on zigzag stitch and I'm going to go for it. 
I back stitched for a knot. Taking out my pins as I go, always a good practice. So um, you're going to want to keep it evenly feeding from underneath so you don't get your pins caught or anything caught up down under your free arm. So you want to free it up, not so you can push it through, but so that the machine itself can feed the fabric through. If you're pushing and pulling it, the fabric through, that will mess up your sewing machine. All right, so I was back at the beginning, back where I started, and I went ahead and back stitched, and now I'm gonna snip my threads. There you go, you can see it there. Um, and so now I'm just gonna do that on the other side where I cut off the other sleeves, and then I'll pin my neck hole and do that exact same thing um, for the neck hole, sewing the two shirts together. All right, so thank you for watching to the end of this video. I hope that the video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I will definitely try to answer them and hopefully it wasn't too bad and hopefully you aren't afraid of your sewing machine and you can do this. All right, have a good one.